In this training, we will review how to make a reservation online with the director side. So you go through your facilities and you click reserve facilities. You can also go through your master calendar and choose the date that you'd like to have a reservation on just by clicking the reserve, reserve button. And then this screen pops up to start the reservation. This is where you would enter your reservation title. So if you were, say, marking your building to be closed for renovations, you would type in closed for renovations as your title, and you would make it a public event. This way, it, all the details will be visible on a community calendar. Now, if this was a member reservation, you would then be able to come here into the customer line and start typing in the last name And then as you start typing in the last name, you'll see the list of members and you just choose the correct member. You'll see some basic information. You'll have to decide if you want to make this a public or a private reservation. And then the color, you can actually change the color of the reservation just by clicking that box. And then looking for the color that you'd like. If you'd like to add a note to your reservation, this is where you can put a note. You can also add a private note. Now a private note is not going to be shown to your member. This would be for somebody in the office only. And then on the next screen, this is where you come in and you choose your facility. And you can do more than one facility. And you can say how big your group size is going to be. And you can even name each line item. And then when you hit the continue button, the next screen is going to show you whether you can choose a single date, where you can also s set up your date here, your times, and you can actually set up your setup and tear down now. So if it's going to take somebody 30 minutes to set up before their reservation starts and 45 minutes to tear down once it's completed, you can include that information right here. And if you have a reoccurring event, you just click on the reoccurring and choose what type of repeat cycle. We have daily and you can choose whether it's every other day or every few days. Weekly, same deal. You can come here and choose how often it repeats and what day of the week and you can have it end on or on a specific date just by choosing this button and choosing the date or after a certain number of occurrences. We also have a monthly option that you can choose day of the month or you can have it repeat for any of these options. On this screen is where you're going to be choosing the fees for your uh, facility rental and you would just slide the button to be able to choose that you want to uh, select the type of fee. Now as you can see we have a per occurrence and a per hour. If I select per hour I can include the setup and tear down times in my fee calculation. So on top of the reservation time being this amount it'll also calculate the additional time needed for setup and tear down. This is where you would enter a security deposit, if you had a security deposit, and then they can select these add-on fees. So if they needed to have two umpires, you would come here and select how many, and then this is going to give you the amount. And if they needed the field lights, you can turn that on as well. And you can do different fee types per location. So you can see that we have another one, that this one could be a per occurrence, and that they'll also need field lights here. And when you hit the continue button, this is what the reservation is going to look like for you to be able to view. You can see the date, time, the setup and tear down. If you hover over, you'll be able to see what the add-on fees are versus what the standard fee breakdown is. If you accidentally add a date in that maybe you don't need, you can select here check this box off and choose the delete selected button. This also works if you need to delete an occurrence after you've already made a reservation. 
and if you needed to add a new time slot, you would just select the Add New Time Slot button. And once you get to this screen, you would just click Save Reservation. And then you're going to see this button reminding you that because there was money in that reservation that you need to go through the checkout process. And that is how you reserve a facility using the Flex Scheduler.